How's it going people? Jeff here from Ecom Geeks. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up local delivery for your online store. Let's get started. So before we get into actually setting up local delivery, there are two things that we have to make sure are properly set up. First things first, we're going to go to our settings and then we're going to go to locations. As you can see, I have three different locations here. Two of them are retail and one of them is a warehouse. In this example, let's say that I needed to set up local delivery for my Vancouver retail store. So first off, I want to go into that store. And next, I want to ensure that the box fulfill online orders from this location is checked off. Without that, people won't be able to order online. They'd only be able to pick it up in store from browsing themselves. The other thing that I want to make sure is that the location name is something that's applicable so that customers know the location and what type of store it is, whatever is applicable to your business because customers will actually see this at checkout. So it's very important that you make it clear to them. Now that we've done that, let's go back to the previous screen. On this page, the other thing that I have to check is to make sure that my warehouse is the primary fulfillment location. As you can see, all your locations are listed here at the bottom. You can see that I have my retail store in Calgary at the top, my warehouse in the middle, then my Vancouver retail at the bottom. Now, I want to ensure that as many online orders that I receive are going through my warehouse as opposed to my retail stores. If I have my retail store first, then online orders are going to be put here first, and I'm probably going to run out of stock fairly quickly at one of my retail locations. To change this, simply click on Edit Fulfillment Priority. In this page, I'm going to actually grab my warehouse and drag it to the top. Click Save, and there we go. When people place orders online, regardless of whether that's pickup, delivery, or most likely just online, then all the orders are going to try to be sent through the warehouse first. The next step we have to do is we have to go to our apps. Within your app, you have to make sure that you add the app called Shopify Local Delivery. Now this app is free and it's actually created by Shopify, so there's no monthly cost or anything associated with it. Since the app is installed, now we can go on to our next step. Click on Settings, and then Shipping and Delivery. If I scroll down here, I can actually find Local Delivery. You can see that I've already set up my Calgary store to have local delivery, but I have yet to set up local delivery for my Vancouver store. Let's go into there and click Manage. As you can see, I need to check off the box that says this location offers local delivery. After I do that, I'm provided with a lot of different options. The first thing is very important. You need to define how far away you are willing to deliver a product from a location. And there are two ways to do this. The first is by using postal or zip codes in which you can specifically say which regions you, you want to cover, or there's the much simpler option of setting a delivery radius. This uses your shop as a center point and goes out to your radius that's defined by you. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm going to set this to 15 kilometers away. Why not? The next section is where we identify how much we're going to charge the customer for the delivery. What's really nice is that you can actually add conditional pricing. So let me show you what that actually means. If I click on add conditional pricing, you'll see there that it has orders from $0 up to, and then you can set the limit. In this case, I'm gonna set a limit of, let's say $25. Next, we can set the delivery price. In this case, I've left it at $5. So that means that orders from $0 up to $25 require a local delivery price of $5. Now the next section down with the conditional pricing, I can set orders from $25 up to a specific amount. So if I wanted to, I could say 50 and perhaps say, you know, the delivery price is 250. That being said, in this case, I want to keep it so that if I have orders over $25, that there is no delivery cost for that. The last thing we want to add is the delivery information. This is really important because it provides information to the customer at checkout as well as in their uh, email notification of their order about the delivery information. In this example, I've specified that orders placed before a certain time, Monday to Fridays, uh, will have the same day delivery, whereas orders placed after this time will be shipped the next business day. There's other information that can be included here. Just make sure it's applicable to your business. Now that we've done this, let's click Save. If we go back to the previous page, we can actually see that our Vancouver retail location now offers local delivery. Let's see what this looks like from the customer's perspective. You can see that in my cart, I've added this lovely Ecom Geeks ball cap. So let's go to checkout. Now I've actually set this customer up at our Calgary location just for simplicity's sake. 
Now that I've entered all the personal information for Cowboy Joe, uh, we can continue to shipping. You can see by default that local delivery is enabled. The next step is for customers to enter their phone number and any delivery instructions, perhaps leave at the door or buzz, you know, 0211 or something like that. Now that I've added a phone number as well as delivery instructions, I can continue to the payment. Continuing through the payment section, I'm just going to go to pay now. Here you can see the shipping location as well as the delivery information that we typed in before. Customers also have the option to select get shipping updates by text. A lot of people will do this and it's integrated really easily. In the back end of our Shopify store, we can now see that we do have an order here from Cowboy Joe. You can also see that the delivery method is local delivery. Now it's time to go into our app section and go to the local delivery app by Shopify. Once we're ready to create a delivery list for our drivers to take out and deliver packages, we can simply click create delivery list. In this screen, I can scroll down and I can select whichever orders are available in terms of the local delivery. In this case, I'm going to do the current order as well as a previous order that I placed the other day. Now that I've selected them, I simply click add to delivery list. You can see that I specified a driver as well as which date this is being carried out and you can also see that I have the option to optimize route. This is actually a really cool feature because it can really help save your drivers a lot of time. Now that I've completed this step, I simply click save. Next, I can click on share delivery list and I can actually create a link. If I were to copy this, I can then send that to my driver and they'll be able to open a window which will give them a lot more information. Here's how it looks from the driver's perspective. We can see that there are two deliveries to do and I can actually see them on my map in relative location to my store. Now your driver can click on start delivery. By clicking start, your driver will actually tell Shopify that these packages indeed are picked up and are en route to the customer. This will also inform the customer that their order is in process and should arrive soon. So let's click start. This will then take your driver through from one location to the next and they can even open it in Google Maps in order to get directions. The driver even has the option in order to call or text the customer in order to give them a heads up about when their order should be received. Once delivered, the driver can simply say, Mark is delivered. When they complete this, it will actually be shown in Shopify as a completed delivery. When the driver completes the list, we can actually take a look at our orders and see that both of these orders were delivered by the local delivery method. There you go. That's how to completely set up local delivery for your online business. I really hope this helps and I'll catch you next time. Looking to improve your store? Hire a geek. We offer individual store optimizations, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as workshops. Check out the description below for more information.